condominium meeting. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Full on Portuguese uh, language, uh, um, uh, deep dive. Anyway, yeah. all our, all our um, 10, 10, no, 11 participants as well. So 11 yeah. Can I rewind you? Can I rewind you? Because for those people who don't know how this works, it would be yeah. lovely if you could set the scene. Uh, for us and, and describe in some detail um, you presumably got a letter uh, an official looking letter which invited you to the condominium meeting how no, was we it quite, it was a quite advanced business you see because we had an email really very <laughs> futuristic yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah and in the following year it was also actually on zoom was it? Is, yeah but well, we needed a pandemic to. Oh, to of course, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, but yeah. Mm, yeah. So and then there was um, we did that uh, upstairs to uh, one of our um, neighbor um, apartment. One blessing that we and something very positive, very good that happened to us at that time, which was five years ago, is that eighty-five percent of our building, the all Portuguese, but they all speak English. So that saved us from a lot of things. But nevertheless, we had a bit of an infiltration through one of our windows. And then we emailed the um, uh, administrator of the condominium. We emailed, we had no response. I called, they didn't call me back. You know, the other thing, yeah. we, we arrived with the South Lambeth Road approach to, I send you, I send you an email, send me back. Yeah. We respond within an hour. I'm very frustrated about this, emails after email after email. We arrived to this thing. We emailed, obviously, everyone in the building. Ah, ah, mess we pay. Uh, so we arrived there, and, um, and we're like, oh, I'm very frustrated, and all the other thing. And the minister, I remember, it said, by, yeah, by you emailed me 20 times, and then, and then you called me other 30 times, and then you gave me the, the, this... Um, uh, um or cement which is um uh, preventive uh, which is um a budget for the work to be done you know yeah. Yeah. i had to respond to you i tell you we speak about it in the meeting you know, i cut it short yeah. and then is my um, uh, um, neighbor joao that he said oh, so we arrived we were in, we created this storm and he said but we have to understand and he addressed the room that are foreigners and we were like, so I say they expect things to be in a certain way, and they arrive here expecting this happening. But this is not, this is, this is Portugal, and this is the way. And we thought about it at that time. We we're like, oh, that's rude, man. <laughs> but then, you know, we were like, anyway, everybody supported our case, and then everybody paid for the repair. No problem whatsoever. Hmm. And the same person that pulled this objection say, I expect to be living in a, in a condominium, therefore we support them because we, they will support us for something else. Perfect. It was not. And then we thought, oh, that was rude. But then now we spoke. It was, it was actually correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's true. We arrived with a mindset open for all this disappointment when it was just, we were just speaking a language which is not. Which was not landing, yeah. In terms well, of also, approach, there was, there was a set of rules that they adhere to, which we didn't understand. You know, you'd expect some response for this sort of thing, but in this timely manner, a lot of these things mm -hmm. it happens in that meeting. So yeah. you could have a. And this is a really serious problem. You could have a problem now in February, yeah. and it will address. But it's not serious, it but it won't be addressed, be addressed if he has a lot of money until next January when the meeting happens. You know, so some of those things just happen, and we didn't we didn't understand that. Yeah. You know, whereas those are critical problems that something that it breaks down, and obviously somebody responds. Yeah. So we, I, I think oh. it comes from also the fact that we are not we are foreigners in other places. Yeah. Well, there are, to me, there are two parts to that. I mean, yeah. there's there's the first bit, which is the what 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 was said is true, is factually true, isn't it? You know, yes. you 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 are foreigners. You come into this new building, uh, and a new country. And you've brought your new way of dealing, or your novel way, or different way of mm -hmm. dealing with things into this situation. Now, mm -hmm. in in some places, that 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 would be the case, and no one would say anything. But you actually got schooled out loud and publicly about no, it. No, it wasn't that much. It was yeah. more yeah. than it, it more. 
and more than anything, he explained. Mm. Yeah, but that's not amazing. It's not amazing. amazing. And, 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 and in a quite, by the sound of it, as you report it, in a very matter of fact, unapologetic, this is just how we do things here. Exactly. Because I Thank think other people Thank were getting your frustrated. 20 emails and your yeah. 30 phone calls. Yeah. However. However. <laughs> it goes like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think that was also the problem, was other people were also getting frustrated with us because they didn't understand why we were getting so frustrated with them. You know, yeah, so, was, that yeah. so actually his point was quite valid because it's kind of it was also addressed really to everybody. Yeah. Because it's also been, you know, okay, guys, all relax here because they're foreigners That's and they just don't understand this, except the fact that they don't understand it as well. And we need to talk about it in that, you know. Mm -hmm. yes. So, what there was a, it could be a metaphor that could be applied to a lot of things. And also, there's the fact that within all this, there was the fact that we were alone. Yeah. Like it could happen. There was a loneliness of our putting this approach into place without any bounce back of any sort of um, feedback, yeah, of, uh, oh, but, but that's the way that I do it, that's the way that I don't do it, how do I do it? And so it's, it could be a metaphor of your situation and when you leave somewhere and when the, the honeymoon period finish yeah. and then real life sets in and, and uh, yeah. So well, you, you, you're not raging against the machine, are you, anymore? You've, you've, it sounds like you've completely mm -hmm. accepted that. And uh, you, you know, we are we, we get quite pissed off about times of here and there, yeah. I don't, I think condominium meetings around the world are notably dull, and people having to live together in one building is no. a is a is like a little United Nations, isn't it? It's a test for humanity to see what yeah. how how well people can get along and have a project run. Um, yes. with various personalities going on. I mean, yeah. I, I want to ask you about that specifically for other people who are thinking about living in a condominium yeah. block or arrangement and the best way to go about that as a foreigner because I think that's some really useful information. Uh, we'll take mm -hmm. a few comments uh, on your, on the first part of what you're sharing with us. Uh, in time, manana is the new word you accept. Uh, difference is your blood pressure no longer <laughs> goes up from uh, Paul Richards. Yeah, you, you kind of look, you, yeah. it's the new normal, if you like, isn't it? It is the new normal yeah. existence. Yeah. Um, and Paul uh, also saying to Philomena, sorry, I'm from Yorkshire. Now, uh, that's, I don't think that's a universal um, excuse. Although Yorkshire people, <laughs> would like it. You, can't, you can't just wish everything away with that, Paul. Um, and the black cloud um, descends and the blood pressure goes up, says Viv. Good morning to you, Viv. Uh, and uh, interesting to hear Bob's uh, account of, your, of his renewal and congratulations on yours. Uh, I hate it, says Viv, but it happens sometimes just from trying to, figure it all out mm. and yes it, it, there is an inevitability about it and perhaps as we've said and as we began and this, yeah and this is also this dynamic that as migrant or immigrant we have to put ourselves through that we have to, we are in a place that we have to understand yes absolutely so right that is doesn't apply to who does not move within mm. their life from a place that they are originally from and, and i think it's something that we have to go through we, we cannot escape that yeah. We cannot escape the fact that we get frustrated, upset, alone, uh, uh, pissed off, and then suddenly incredibly happy. And yes. then the roller coaster yeah. ride, the roller coaster mm -hmm. ride of, of life, anyway, but with with it through the lens of being in a new country and, and in this instance yeah. in Portugal. Now, condominiums. Well, saying that affects most things, actually, because if you think about it, there's always that thing, isn't it? You know, don't bring your old baggage with you, kind of thing, because I think. Oh. You, we often forget that also applies. You know, how many times have you moved jobs because you were frustrated with something and then you realize the same frustrations are there in the next one? You don't have Where, to. Really wherever work. you go, there you exactly. are. Exactly. Right? There's always something happens yes, which says exactly. the new thing always, you know, some of the old things always show up in the new thing or the new thing has things that you're frustrated about that the old one didn't. So Definitely. You know, definitely. Are. Yes, there is a distinction between luggage and baggage, isn't there? And we tend to bring both uh, when we come to a new country. Now, this uh, condominium thing, people will be looking uh, and uh, watching the show, thinking about uh, buying a, an apartment, which w would automatically, I suspect, take them into some sort of condominium arrangement yes. mm -hmm. uh, that, that, uh, where the management of the whole building um, mm -hmm. is run by them and a group of fellow residents or a company does it. Um, you, you've probably got a little bit of insight on this, not only from your own experience, but introducing yes. others to, to buying places. What would you say about condominiums? It, 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 I mean, if you, some, you listen to some people, it's like a complete barge pole job. Um, but what, how would you suggest going about um, buying it within a condominium arrangement? 
I mean, I think it's certainly something that's important to understand when you go in on the buying process anyway, of how the, you know, a bit of how the condominiums arranged. Um, because for the, for those of you from the UK, it's obviously, we don't use the same terminology of saying a condominium, but I mean, is this thing that the overall management of the building, which is probably down to the common spaces and the outside um, and various different rules that may be set up, you know, for any external spaces is managed internally. Yeah. So it will be the fact that I think now it is leg yeah. they're legally obliged, aren't they, that you have to have this thing called an organized condominium. Mm. It wasn't know. when we bought our apartment, for example. It wasn't, it, wasn't. it was no, okay. it was not in the in it wasn't no, it wasn't required by law. Every, oh, sorry, every no, building sorry. had to have a condominium organized. Okay. I mean, it wasn't organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. presumably because when if nobody bothered to do it. Mm. Some some people, the people who live on the top floor, or mm. the, the 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 people yeah. who couldn't, couldn't afford to get something done and contribute, yeah. would be causing, uh, you know, different dynamics and difficulties within oh, a, a, a shared building. So the government yeah. have stepped in to, to make sure that something is yeah, happening. That's, that's arranged. Yeah, and so because of that, what it does mean is that there's a legal requirement to do once a year, which usually at the start of the year. Yeah, and. Also, it's legally required that it's properly documented and that everybody understands what it is and everybody has a vote on what it is. Right. And the percentage of your vote, interesting, and this is a rather weird one I always find, um, is the horizontal, isn't it? It's based on... It's, it's, it's based on a percentage of... So consider the overall building is a unit of... For example, 100. Well, they call it 1,000. So it's a a thousand. Thousand. And then of, the t of this 1,000, according to the square metrage of your apartment, you will have a re relevance. Relevance? Yeah, relevance. Oh, that's good. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. On the, on the voting portion. Yeah. Uh, so you will uh, count based on your square metrage. Which is called uh, permilagium. Permilagium. And that's that's, uni that's a universal rule. There are no exceptions to that, I guess, unless they're otherwise contracted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Was, and also, you pay you are you paying more on the on the condominium quote according to uh, the more square meter you actually own of property, yeah. the more you pay with us. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, because this wherever you live in the world, you know, there are people who will say, "Well, I only live there some of the year because it's a holiday home." Yeah, but you rent it out, and that's a lot more wear and tear on the building for the rest of us yeah, exactly. we we have something in, yeah we had something in place for that we had we had and we don't have it anymore thanks lord <laughs> if you do exist thank you if it's not whatever um we had um the an airbnb, an airbnb on one third floor. so uh, okay. and, and we actually all voted and we said we, they would pay 30 percent more on top of it for being an airbnb Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so you can come to those sorts of arrangements as well. Oh, we then... can, yeah, I mean, we have other range. So, for example, this building's got a lift, and the people on the ground floor, on the first floor, actually, because the lift is on the halfway floor, so on the first floor you wouldn't use it. Um, <laughs> don't, don't pay towards lift maintenance, for example. So you know, that's, very fair. that's very yeah. fair, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. it's on the other people. So you know, there's been rules put in place for how it is. So the general maintenance payment part of it in our building is based on the square meterage of your apartments. Which probably makes sense because you, the external square meters that you know for decorating and everything is going to be the same, you know. Um, and then other thing, other payments come into that, um, and then we just debate whatever we do. So you know, we we we've tried to set up a bit so there's a sort of bucket of money that gets left there. So when emergency things happen, you know, we usually have some money in there. Yeah. So one thing, and one thing, one tip that I will pass to anyone that is approaching to buy or something, they check yeah. how much money is in there. Yes. The because checking the account are in order exactly. if there's some money, because if something, I don't know. And you should be able to do that then. So when you're buying an apartment, you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, I would ask it should money. be part of the paperwork that is if, given if to you. Yet. If that doesn't come to you, yeah. don't approach. Buying yeah, because we, we okay. had Paul, uh, not Paul Reese. Paul, we did have Paul Reese on a couple of weeks ago, but uh, we had David Mapley on on Tuesday talking about some of the problems that can go wrong with, with buying and renting and so on. And he came across a condominium arrangement where the the locals had very cleverly um, figured it out. So they didn't pay anything. 
only the new people who'd bought into the condominium were actually paying anything. I lost you. And some of the <laughs> some of the old guard had, had organised it such that they were the living, um, you know, condo charge free, as yeah. it were. Um, and that's, the, I guess, as well as seeing the accounts, you might ask to see the constitution where the, those sorts of things would have got decided, right? So, presumably, it's like yeah, any. Well, the constitution. <laughs> The Constitution is an interesting one because this was the thing that we didn't understand, you see, because I kept saying to, the, to them, what's the guidelines for what goes on the condominium? Because when we got to this point where we couldn't understand who, how we were supposed to communicate, it was never there. Yes. And I think it's, it's probably a bit similar to Portuguese law as well, which is the fact that because they had these meetings, if you really want to work out what the Constitution is of this place, you need to yeah. look at every single meeting that's ever gone on and then try and draw your judgment <laughs> What, so there, they don't, there doesn't have to be a published constitution. Even no, though never, well, there's never really, there's sort of some... There's the ATA from the previous There's year. the ATA from the previous year, but, but, but then that could be influenced by the ATA from the previous year as well, wouldn't it? Because it doesn't what, what's clear. that word you're using, the ATA? ATA, which is the minute. The minutes, okay, all right. Uh, and and, and it's, a, it's a meeting like a meeting in a, a boardroom. It, there is a chair, there are the participants, there's a minute yes. taker, and these minutes have to be taken as a representation. So our one, we, there is an external company who is the chair, basically. Okay. Which is actually quite cool, because if the condominium or the administrator of the condominium is someone in the building, then it comes out with the thing as I call it my daughter wedding, so we all pay like where do you send more with the shit dog and a shoes? On order. Yeah. And on the other well, I've heard of this. There, there are a couple. The, the worst two nightmare things I've heard are that that kind of abuse of power, where yeah, 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 yeah. copying for uh, their own advantage within. Yeah, within Ze, Ze Paolo that has been there for like since nineteen forty one. Right. Yes, and we yeah. always we always buy his Christmas champagne as part yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, and, and it always and it was always uh, very comfortable in the mid seventies. Then things are changed. <laughs> And he's still be, be hungry. I mean, there is that. Power. Uh, yeah. Yes, there's that human nature in committees mm -hmm. as well. And well, the other thing, the I've organized heard. condominium was trying to bring into it. You know what I mean? So okay. By formalizing it. You know. I mean, ours is quite good. So there is somebody else. There's two other people in the building. I think actually have to countersign any large payments that are made out of the account. Okay. So the administrator can do it. But it's also passed on to a second party as well. So everything that's has good. To be good. So that you might recommend that then a condominium. Yeah, rate. I mean, certainly it's interesting on that point of view. But also the first forty-five minutes of the meeting is sorry is generally <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, no, it's, it's, no, it's not an exciting from that point of view. But it's it's the fact they go through. He cost. He does all the things. He they send you all the accounts that have gone through the bank statements, everything else that's gone through. Very up and down, so you can at least go through the accounts. Just okay. to warn anybody who's planning to do something interesting on the evening of a condominium, the ones here generally last between three and four hours. Wow. And that's not abnormal, apparently, because well, I that's the other thing I was wanting to ask you about, um, because the, I've heard of this. I've heard of how um, yeah. people are still trying to stay awake at midnight because of the, you could argue, the poor chairing of these meetings. So that's one good reason to have an external company come do it, yeah. right? Um, it's still, uh, it's it's still, it's still poor, poor lad, yes. Still is there, is there, is there ref other refreshments and, and um, food? I mean, you know, in Portugal, I'm imagining there will be food if there's if it's going to be a meeting of that length. Uh, what? That's well, we do not run any by Zoom now, so you get your own fresh food. We'll, 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 we'll get pissed. But, but it's, always, it's, always, it's always by Zoom. It's always by Zoom, though, is it? Since the pandemic. Yeah, it's always by Zoom, actually. Yeah, yeah. We've, well, let me recommend. Uh, here's the perfect uh, condominium meetings refreshment yeah. from I earlier. I don't know which one to choose, actually. I know. Probably <laughs> I, th I thought it was a, dif uh, a religious difference between the two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The kosher pal kosher. Okay, one is not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> um, where were we? Condominiums and not yeah, having yeah. to stay up with too much. So, do you relay? I mean, I guess for you two, you could have one of you there, and you could just do two hours each on the on the condominium. No, period. because this time I was in Rome. He was in Rome. I could never know. Oh, uh, very. Uh, that's very convenient for Brits. With my mom, it was watching NCSI on the television with my mom on the bed, and I was here like my bed, afraid about to explode. So, um, <laughs> but, uh, right. He's planned I think uh, let's, let's, it's been said publicly. I think it's Fabrizio's turn to take the heat at the condominium meeting this for this coming meeting, right? Ian is free no, to... we will be probably Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> right. Okay. Yes. So, so that's we want to get out of it when we're traveling to the other side of the world together in Australia or somewhere. Right? <laughs> So is that, is that the biggest inspiration in Portuguese travel? Is people avoiding condominium meetings? <laughs> Maybe. Who, who knows? Right. Okay. But but thank you for your insight on that. So if you are buying an apartment, this is something you'll be up against. Um, yeah, there, yeah. Is, there is better protection by the sound of it for formalizing committees for how money is handled, processed. Yeah. You can ask to see the accounts. You can ask to see the bank accounts. You can find out who's because these people. You're going to get to know these people better, aren't you? And to, you what yeah. Goes, what yeah. goes? Yeah. Keep, yeah keep, keep it nice. Keep it nice. Exactly. Keep it nice. Keep it nice. Well, Help. Yeah. I mean, the other part to come notes. out. Of, yeah. Go on. Yeah. No, sorry. The other part to come out of that, obviously, just going back to the purchase part, is if you're spotting problems with the building as well. Um, yes. Don't always write it off because, of course, you probably want to know how those are going to be addressed. So that you know. And it could be the fact there's already money in the funds. It could be the fact that, you know, because some of them contribute towards it. We contribute something to try and increase the funds yeah. as they're going on. So, you know what I mean? There's, there's, don't always dismiss things, but it's worth just understanding how that works. Because if suddenly the roof has a problem, how are you going to do that? Is the money there? Who's going to pay for it? You know, we're sure everybody's going to pay for that. And, you know, has everybody got the money as well? You know, okay, so your advice there is if, if something does look a bit dodgy about the building, it mm -hmm. may well be that it's work in progress. It's scheduled work that's going to yeah, happen. It's scheduled work, yeah. And, of course, those you will find out from the actor. So don't just take the or, estate agent or the own and say, oh, don't worry, that's what that's yeah. planned on me doing. You can say, can you show me the actor that that was discussed in? Or yeah. on the not. other hand, too, if everything is okay, but then you buy the apartment and you expect it because it's somehow scheduled, to be paying three, four grand for the mm. repainting of the full building the following year. Mm. And uh, you, you, when you are the owner of the apartment, you got to pay. Right? Yeah. There's no... If it's already been agreed. That if it's agreed, year, yeah. whoever you are, that you buy the apartment, tough, whatever, whatever it mm. is, but you pay for it. You, okay. you are just on that one, just to... So check, check what is what is within the... Next year, or Samento, which is the budget, which yeah. is um... because what has happened with that is there's been an agreement that it was going to be done in one year, but obviously they had no quotes because everybody just had to agree that they would decide that year had to do it. So okay. that, later on in the year, there was going to be a second meeting just to decide out of the quotes which one we were we were agreeing to go with and how much we will be then contributing in the future, you know, in that year for that Jeez. money. He's like, so, what's that noise? The rats are throwing themselves on the traps at the back of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Um, the, the, no, this is useful information, isn't it? Because it, it you, is, yeah. you really would regret this at your leisure, wouldn't you? If you didn't realise what exactly. you were doing, you got into a, 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 an awkward condominium well, situation. Well, it could also be the fact, you know, you've just purchased it, you're maybe feeling a bit poor, and then somebody comes, oh, yeah, but you agreed this thing. And, I mean, for us... The whole decoration, redecoration of this building, and to do some other works because there were a couple of faults at the same time. Yeah, I think we paid three and a half thousand each or something. So it wasn't an insignificant amount of money. Suddenly you have to pay, but you've got yeah, to pay. Yeah. It's so been agreed. It's and we are fifteen apartments, so there was a considerable amount of money. Yeah, good contract for somebody. So a couple of questions, comments before we uh, have Ali join us this morning. Yeah. Oh, and and with this condominium thing, when I spoke about it before in the Dream Team session one evening, the Portuguese people they were all like. Oh my goodness, condominium meetings. And it was as if, I, I think I suggested that we, we could write a soap opera. It's like a hybrid of Big Brother and a soap <laughs> opera, uh, you know, the, call, and call it, you know, no condo or something like that. The yeah. condominium meeting. And it would be, people would watch it because of all these dynamics. And it sounds like some people don't get out at all apart from the condominium meeting. And then they're very glad to see people and they might hog the talking stick a little bit. Yeah, you know, there's a lady, yeah, there's a lady on the ground floor there which she was mysterious and she, she lives somewhere they're very peculiar. But when she appears there's this background that is like a cave. And and there was the one on the third floor was amazing because they couldn't attend is a Turkish national which he used to rent the apartment, but he sent this lawyer and this woman appeared. Yeah. She was fantastic. She looked like a father singer. She was like one meter twenty height with all this shawl and and yeah, fur coat, coat, huge fur coat, and a huge fur coat. I'm here to represent in. my Turkish client. Where shall I no, sit? She was Portuguese, but she's. I, I believe she sang the father. Really? Oh, if she had she didn't she should. And she didn't she, <laughs> she, she if did she didn't she should, and I'm sure 
that in a handbag she carried a knife. <laughs> yes, which which was on your mind throughout the whole meeting, presumably. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't disappoint her. In case, yeah, in yeah. case it kicked off. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quick yeah. questions. Yeah. There is a renter dependent on the absent owner representing advocating any issues the renter is having or creating you can get a lawyer to go as you said uh, on your behalf if that's what's being asked yeah and i think that's what some of them do i mean well they are yes they are assuming that the owner will pass you know pass on their criticism okay. to it. Um, yeah no I mean, as obviously a, yeah, yeah as a lodger unfortunately within the 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 the, 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 the um, uh, meeting you will not be invited yeah and oh, you will okay. uh, your Owners only, owners only. Yeah. Okay, I had a great flat in T Great Titchfield Street. That's in London with a judge yeah. who was a neighbour. When it was quiet in the evenings, you could. Okay, we. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that is not a requirement. That is not a requirement of any condominium arrangement, as far as I'm aware, is it? Uh, is what you? No, I'll, well, it depends on how much you pay, though. As long as it doesn't, <laughs> and nothing's going for free. He to know a lot about the um, professional status of his neighbours here, doesn't he? Well, Absolutely. Um, not. Obviously, found out our condominium meeting. Is what you're yeah. calling the Constitution similar, same as what we in the US call covenants? Uh, conditions and restrictions which define what owners can and can't do do with their property well that's part of it. it's not the same thing is it the constitution is uh, what, what i was referring to was how the committee is made up rather than yeah. the, the, the the small print of of, of well, um, that said, though, there are certain rules and regulations we put in place so for example here in terms of noise let's say so they tend to say you know people should not be making any noise after 10 p.m on a normal night and spanking it spanking is included no spanking, no spanking after no, 10 no, no, before, no. before 10 fine knock yourself before out 10. The 10, no. yeah, right. um, okay. so yeah. that, that's one particular one and then if there are works going on for example you are obliged to put in some notice to tell everybody else when the works will start when they'll finish and they're only allowed to happen between certain times so that's one small bit of the constitution as an example of the rule but i have seen condominiums who you know have a whole load of other things like don't do this don't leave these things out and you know they're actually sort of you know i think we've been to a few airbnbs as well where within the building you've seen things on the wall say you know these are the rules of things that you cannot do Yes. So it can be done. It's just okay. uh, not. Well, we, I think we need to talk more about this. Clearly, this well, is a, a yeah. bit of a Pandora's box here, isn't it? On, on, we could have condo, condo corner, or something like that in future, yeah. Yeah. where we Maybe have a little bit of insight. Yeah. Mondo, uh, condo. Yeah. Yes, condo mondo, the world mm. of condominiums. Mm. Um, it is usual that if you do not pay towards the cost of maintenance, you cannot sell your apartment until the debt is paid. Well, that's understandable. And just a, a yeah. final point, we might come back to some of these because we've got to get Ali on. We're holding her up. A condo apartment living, been there, done that, never again. I, do I want to overhear your private arguments and bedroom exertions? No, we've got our own. Thank you very much. Um, no, thank you, says Azure. Don't move to Great Titchfield Street. <laughs> yes, right. Do, yeah. Stay away from the yeah from the. Although the some country. people, I've some always... people, some people might not want to know exactly what that address is now, so that they can yeah. like, move yeah. in or offer their services. Nice big round of applause, Ali Sheldrake. I'm so <laughs> sorry that we were talking about spanking. Um, Hi, Ali. Morning. I love Morning. the com the conversations and the topics you guys cover are hilarious. I had no <laughs> idea that was going to be happening this morning. I assure you. From um, I think we're from, bad influence on people. Actually. You yeah. are that from this to to condominium arrangements to old judges, to judges. in London. This the administration of law in London. Yeah. Please, please raise the tone for us um, with the be beautiful pictures of the Algarve. Here we're going to be previewing snapshot. Of course, the February edition. It's first of February. Can't believe it. We are we are one twelfth into twenty twenty four. This very busy and I think quite a boisterous year ahead for humanity and a little bit of sanity now thanks to you Ali can I can we rely on you for some sanity or not nobody's ever said that to me before <laughs> <laughs> worth a try though right how are you how are you I'm really good yeah really good lots of energy feeling good feeling good about the year yeah and I mean this sunshine makes such a difference conceptually we know don't we because we moved here partly I think a lot of us for the sunshine but when you actually feel it Mm. on your bones when you go out in it it just it is a game changer isn't it it's every year it's the same it's like ah oh, yes i remember this this is beautiful <laughs> have you been having that in the outdoor 
I know. Yeah, I mean, for me, with rheumatoid arthritis, I mean, it's just a joy to have that lovely warm sunshine on my joints. So uh, I really appreciate it. It's been uh, quite a damp winter in a lot of ways, which isn't good for me. Um, yeah. So I'm delighting in the sunshine at the moment. It's uh, excellent. Fabulous. Excellent. Well, let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. Um, yeah. Beautiful cover. Fantastic. A lot of great shots from Dave in here that we'll take a look at uh, in a moment. But what what's, what's the cover shot here, Ali, this, this month? Local beach, Castellejo. Uh, for obvious reasons, because that's yeah. a little rock out in the sea that looks like a 